Hey everybody, welcome back to Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. Um, in this episode, we're going to hopefully regain control of Hamtaro. So, let's talk to these guys and use Liberty. Jumpin' Jim and he's stuck in the cage. Let's help him get his Liberty back. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go take a look at this cage. Alrighty. So, while you're here, you can't, with just in control of Bijou, you can't leave because you can't you can't hand lift. So you're stuck on this floor until you get Hamtaro back. There's absolutely no way that you can leave Boo Manor. So if you don't know where you're going, you're kinda stuck. Of course you're usually like that, but um So let's use Pushy. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where you go see Dexter. If it's not, I'll just cut to being right back here. Okay, there was nothing there. What a waste of 20 seconds. <laughs> Super speed button is awesome. So here we are. Liberty. It's easy enough to say, but it's still. I may be strong, but this is impossible. Why are you being so negative? This is ridiculous. If you won't, I will. Out of the way. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Give me some room. Here we go. That is a strong hamster. You just, like, been still and it sounded like a door opening. That's pretty cool. That was cool, heart. <laughs> okay, what the crap. Yeah, I'm not actually sure. I think you may have to... Oh, I know what you had to do. You had to go back to the room where um, Antaro will first fall down, talk to Dexter, and then go down there and Dexter will get trapped in the coffin. So, anyways. We got Hamtaro back! And we got another love in the process! Number 10! We're over halfway there! All right. Okay, the first time I played this game, I always thought the purple hamster was a boy until this thing. I don't know why it's like a purple, like a bright purple hamster. It's like a dark purple like here. I don't know. It, it's weird. Anyways, we learned flip-flop, which is not a shoe. So, sparkly eyes. Yeah, as you can see, this is kind of like an anime show with the way they like sweat drop and the sparkles in their eyes and stuff. So, anyways, if we go over here and get some lag and use hand lift, the curtains will open, and now we can go through this mirror. Seems to be a trend for this thing. Anyways, that was wonderful, Heart. Looky here, come on in. It's pop quiz time. Time to play What's Inside the Dresser. Are you ready? Our lucky contestants are you and you. What's it gonna be? Are you in? Are you out? What's it gonna be? We're in. This is required for 100%. What a riffy prize is a secret. And here we go. Find the dresser you think is right and give it a good knock knock. What's inside the dressers? Alright, now did you see that? Hopefully you did. You guys have the leisure of going back and pausing. I don't. So here we go. Remember this hamster? I don't either. Congratulations, you did it. You've won yourself a fantastic prize. That's all for now. See you next time. Like how hamster like hamster like how Tara like holds his hands up. It's like, yay, I got something. And the hamster's just like standing next to him. So, anyways. So, here's another love. That was pretty quick. And this is also gives you a ham chat. Pretty sure. Hope so, because I don't know where to get that one if I don't. So, there we go. We have saved 11 people. Or couples, whatever. There we go. 
Yep, that is where you get that one. All of their eyes at the end of that. That's funny. It's like extra sparkly. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so there we go. We learned ding ding. Interruption number five. This is getting ridiculous. Anyways. So... Finishing up this scene. I've been sitting here for three hours recording this. Oh, I need something to do. Anyways, so let's leave. I guess what? We're back on the first floor. That sucks. Anyways. Now, Dexter is now trapped in the coffin. However, we can't do anything to help him right now. We can if we continue on and come back, though. So we're going to do just that. But first, we have a creepy hamster to investigate. And OMG lava. Okay, did I seriously just say that? Anyways, it's a scrubby contest. Uh, do you have to do the animation every single time you say it? A boorific prize. We get a gold card, which you need to progress, so. Alright, so. Boom, boom, boom. Ghost. So we want to scrubby this. Go up here, pushy that. This is how I do it, and I'm going to be quiet and concentrate, so. And there we go. I don't know what I was doing. I guess I thought I had one more on there. So, there we go. Um, I usually do two. You could probably do three, but two works for me. It just takes a little longer, but it's better than having to do the whole thing over again. So, we can go over here. And this room will be important later. But, okay, right there, you trip on something. Now, I don't actually know if there's anything under that. I don't think there is. But from what Bijou says, oh, I think there may be something under the carpet. Sorry, I just hit my mic again. I don't think there's any way that you can actually see if there's anything down there, but I'm not sure. So. And my nose is itching like crazy. It's why I've been hitting my mic like at least once every like four episodes or something. Anyway, so you gotta talk to these guys to get rid of them. They're gonna have to look for a card key, even though if they go like one screen to the left and go in the door, they can get one. Anyways, there they go. And here we go. So, press the button, and off to the final floor. With some pretty awesome music. Right about now. Pretty awesome music. That's why I'm just gonna stay quiet because I really like it. It's giving me some pretty good music.
Now, the first time I played this game, I didn't know that you could knock knock right here. And, well, knock knock right. Push you right here and get through here. This is actually how you're supposed to save Dexter from the coffin. I uh, didn't know this. I actually had to see it in a walkthrough. So, let's go up here and use Jam Out. Still like that rippling effect. But you know, I never learned how to play the piano. Oh, I wish someone would teach me how. Make a wish and it shall be granted. Let's see. No, there wasn't a picture down there. It means I didn't say it. What does it look like? She's like holding her nose. Anyway. We have a quiz. Wait, I'm not supposed to say that in a happy tone. We've got a quiz. interrupted one more time I am going to be so just so mad castanets organ piano hmm let me think it's a piano including this one how many questions have I asked during the test that would be two what is the title of this song now you <laughs> enough marriage it gets kind of silly, but otherwise, you probably wouldn't know this. And uh, the, there's one other question: it is who is the composer of the song, and that's Beethoven. Now, on the including this one, how many questions I've asked during the test? That depends on how many he's asked. Now, this confused me the first time I did this because I thought maybe it meant "Shall I teach you?" and all that. Ask if we wanted to know. I always thought. I mean, I originally thought that that was one of the questions, and so I'd be confused. But uh, it's not. So it's like that was the second question in the test that he'd asked me. So it was number. It was two. So uh, four questions, including this one. How many questions have I asked in the test? Who's the composer of the song? That's Beethoven. And that jam out, which he's finished playing. If you miss that one, you are an idiot. And what is the song entitled? Moonlight. Now this, you have to find the right spot. And it is annoying as all hell. And there we go. I got it. Uh, I'm still missing one ham chat. Oh well. I'm gonna... No, I don't have it. Oh well. Hoo hoo hoo! Welcome to the final test in blue letters. That means it must be important. So here we go. We have another quiz. Jeez. Just like school. Oh, yeah, like school. I had like three or four tests this week. So it was bad. Three of them were pre-tests, and one of them was an actual math test. So, anyways, um, I'm trying to forget about school. So it's a single yes or simple yes or no questions. So and they're freaking obvious. Isn't this a sunflower? No, you big idiot. It's a tulip, actually. I haven't actually seen that one before. Is this a sunflower? Uh, yeah. This one is hilarious. As they grow older, do hamsters turn into rabbits? I mean, it's like, seriously? I mean, I don't even have the questions for this. They weren't even in the walkthrough. They're that easy. So if you need help with this, you are an idiot. 